to the Turnmobile. What's up everyone, welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we are on the hunt for the Brisk Cherry, Black Cherry Limeade Venom drink. Uh, and I'm very excited because uh, I wrote uh, to Brisk and I saw that they were like replying to everyone's comments except mine. And I was like, oh man, did I do like that annoying thing where I'm like, hey, you know, like where they thought I was trying to ask for something for free. And it's like, no, I have a few dollars that I set aside just to buy some of these bottles. I thought they were going to be two liter bottles. Turns out they're not. They're like one liter bottles. Um, but still, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for them. And Brisk was nice enough to respond, as you saw in the opening. And they said, hey, use this locator and it'll tell you stores in the area that have that flavor. So if you guys are looking for it in your area, I'll put the link down below. Check it out. You'll find uh, all the places. I think you have to look up Black Cherry Limeade. It doesn't say Venom on it, uh, but when you go through the choices of flavor, it'll say like Black Cherry Limeade. So click on that and that'll show you where they are. It's actually right across the street from my hospital. I was like, oh, this is great. And it's on my way to work. So that's awesome. So I'm going to pop in. I'm outside mobile right now. We're going to run in there and pick up our drink. Shakazam! We got it! All right, I got three bottles of this stuff and I will definitely save it for when I get back home. I have a long eight hour work day ahead of me, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm not gonna drink any at work. And then when I get home, we will do a taste test of one of these. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Symbiotic Dark Cherry, one liter bottles. You can find them, like I said, the link is down below. So without further ado, let me go to work. And then in eight hours, let's take a sip. All right, it's been eight hours for me. Actually, it's been about nine hours for me since I bought this drink earlier. I bought three of them at uh, Mobile, and I wish I got the guy's name at Mobile that was working there. I feel bad because I wanted to give him a shout out uh, because I actually, you know, Br uh, Brisk was nice enough to respond to my Twitter message, and they told me where I could look up and find stores that had them. And most of the places in my area that had them were actually uh, not grocery stores, but they were convenience stores or gas stations. So that's where you should be checking in your area and check out the link down below so you can, you know, hopefully pinpoint some of those convenience stores and uh, liquor stores and some other places and, and, and gas stations that might have this. So this I didn't find at any grocery stores in my area. Um, but this is great. And so I have one now and, uh, you know, I know it's been about nine hours for me, but in the edit, it's like nothing ever happened. It was like a turd in the wind. It flew by instantly. Uh, so let's test it out. We're finally going to taste this thing and I'm very excited. All right. All right. Sealed top. So, you know, I didn't cheat. I had this at work in our refrigerator at work all day. And I was like, just take a sip. Just take a sip. I'm like, no, it's got to be on camera. You got to do it. They're expecting you. You got to do it. <laughs> so here it is. Here we go. Mmm. Hey, that's, that's actually really good. Um, I was a little worried because I'm not a big fan of cherry artificial flavor. Um, limeade, I'm fine with. I like limeade. Uh, and I like brisk tea typically, but, uh, <laughs> but dark cherry, I was a little worried because, uh, like, I, like if I have like a cherry pie, like I had one uh, at Thanksgiving this year and that was really good. That was back when we started the show and I had like made a big Thanksgiving feast. And one of them things I made was a, like a, a real cherry pie and it was delicious, but artificial flavor, I'm not a fan of, but it's a very light aftertaste in this. You can mostly taste the uh, tea and the lime a little bit, but the cherry is a very like small aftertaste. So it's uh, it's actually pretty good. I like how it's like blood red too. I, I don't know if they, how well the camera is going to pick that up, but it's kind of blood red looking. It would almost be cool if this was a carnage drink, uh, but having it be venom, that's fine too. All right, let's do another another sip. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, brisk. All right, you got me. Uh, I think when we, um, I have two other bottles. I'm going to try to save at least one of them. I mean, if I, I'm going to look at the, you know, gas stations when I get gas on my way to work and stuff. I'll look, I'll pop in and see if I can get another couple bottles. This one was a little bit out of my way. It was still kind of on my way to work near the hospital I go to, but it was also like not directly from between me and work. I had to kind of detour a little bit, um, but maybe I'll go back there. I, they had five bottles left and the guy was nice enough to sell me three of them. I was like, I'll leave a couple for someone else, but I need to buy three. So I'll try to save one more, and the week before the movie comes out, I think on October 3rd, or not the week before, two days, uh, one day for some of us, but on October 3rd, which is a Wednesday, um, I will do a stream that night, a live stream 
on uh, YouTube, we'll play some Resident Evil Revelations 2, and uh, we'll play maybe just like the Claire campaign, and we'll just talk about all the things we haven't talked about, like some of the TV spots and some of the other stuff, and, uh, and I'll have one of these, and I'll drink it that night while we're chatting. So I'll at least save one for that. But this one, I'm going to drink the rest of this tonight, and I have the other one. I'm going to probably take it with me to work tomorrow, but I'll try to save that last one. And then if I can ever, you know, pick up a couple more, I will. And uh, I'm going to try to dry these off so I can at least rip off one of the labels, and hang on to it just for keepsake, uh, just for the memories. So thank you guys so much. If you're out there and you have one of these, cheers. And if you're not, check out the link down below and find an area or find a place in your area that you can pick one of these up at. And I think these bottles are somewhere around like $1.50 or something like that. I bought f uh, three of them and it was like around four bucks. So not too bad. And they're one liter only. So if you're out there, cheers. And if you want to get one, check the link down below. Thanks for watching my show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.